The incubators of the ET egg tech line produced by River Systems are designed and made entirely in Italy. The range consists of three models. ET12 with a capacity of 12 hen, turkey, duck and goose eggs or 48 quail or small size eggs. ET24 with a capacity of 24 hen, turkey, duck and goose eggs or 96 quail or small size eggs. ET49 with a capacity of 49 hen, turkey, duck and goose eggs or 196 quail or small size eggs. We are now going to look at the ET49 model, but all three of the ET models work in the same way. The main elements are the lid and the base. On the lid, there is a front panel. Inside of the panel is where the electronic board is housed. The electronic board controls the vital parameters of the incubator. On the front panel, there is a bright seven segment display with plus and minus buttons to set and adjust the temperature to a decimal point. Inside the lid, a grill protects the heating system. It is composed by a fan, a resistor and a probe. The muffled fan sucks the air from the centre of the incubator and forces it toward the lid's walls, thus creating both a perfect internal circulation and a thermal insulation from the outside. The air heating armoured resistor is made of AISI 304 stainless steel. The probe that measures the temperature is composed of an NTC precision sensor that allows for a very quick, effective and exact temperature regulation. In the base or bottom, there are two basins that will contain the water which is needed to maintain the humidity inside of the incubator. The surface of these basins is designed to supply the correct humidity, which leaves the user free from this task. Fill one basin during incubation and both basins during hatching. The two openings in the incubator legs allow the topping up of the internal basins. It will not be necessary to remove the lid, therefore preventing the loss of heat and humidity. A universal professional egg tray is suitable for any kind of egg. Each egg is housed in its egg pocket, pointing downwards. The egg racks are connected by a joining bar that allows their tilting at the same time. The incubator comes with a hatching grill. This is where to place the eggs during the last three days of incubation. The incubator base can be equipped with the Overmatic Egg Turning Unit that allows the automatic turning of the egg tray up to 12 times a day. The incubator's design is very compact and is manufactured with the best quality technical plastics and has passed all the legal tests for the certifications required by the European authorities. The ideal location for the incubator is in a place that has a temperature between 20 degrees centigrade and 25 degrees centigrade, a relative humidity between 50% and 75% and is well aired. The machine is noiseless, so the best place for it is in a room inside your house. Place the incubator base on a flat surface. Remove the hatching grill that will be used later in the incubation process. Place the lid on the base in order to close the machine. The incubator must allow oxygen in from the outside air, so do not cover it nor put any objects such as rags, blankets or tablecloths between the machine and the surface where it lays. Using the opening in the leg, fill one of the two basins nearly to the brim with warm clean water. Insert the lid's plug into a suitable socket. The fan will start turning and the resistor will start to heat up. The display will show the temperature inside the incubator. The yellow LED indicates that they are working. The preset temperature, ideal for most species of birds, 
is 37.7 degrees centigrade. Run the machine empty for about two to three hours to let it reach the temperature and develop the correct humidity percentage. Remove the lid and gently place the eggs into the individual egg pockets with their point downwards, just as in the industrial incubators. This position will best facilitate the oxygen exchange with the outside. Reposition correctly the lid on its base. If the machine features it, plug in the egg turning unit. Let the machine work and perform the following operations. Monitor daily the water level and if necessary, top up without overflowing the basin using the opening in the leg. Do not open the lid. You can check the eggs through their inspection windows. The first candling can be made after one week. Remove the infertile, flawed and abnormal eggs. One week later, you can perform the second candling to check the condition of the embryos. For hen eggs, on the 18th incubation day, unplug the egg turning unit and start the hatching phase. For other birds, the incubation period is different. Please refer to the instruction manual. Remove the eggs from the egg tray and place them temporarily on a normal egg tray. Remove the egg tray from the incubator base, paying particular attention to the part connected to the egg turning unit. At this point, fill the second basin with warm water. Place the hatching grill in the correct position and lay the eggs on it. Ensure that the grill is placed correctly. It must cover the basins and the connections to the openings. Reposition the lid and do not open it till the hatching is complete. Do not plug in the egg turning unit. Set the temperature at 37.2 degrees centigrade. Monitor daily the water level and, if necessary, top up without overflowing both basins using the opening in the legs. Check the hatching progression through the inspection windows. After hatching, the chicks must stay in the incubator for about 12 hours to allow their feathers to dry. Then move them to a heated pen for the first days of life.